Good evening, it's Miss Durand again. Welcome to fifth grade. I know this has been a crazy busy week of, um, or month I should say, of learning everything you need to know here at Northport Elementary and in Miss Durand's classroom. Because I have a lot of expectations and I, I definitely hold you accountable for everything you do in this room and at home. So this is tonight's lesson. What I'm going to teach you is how to write down on your paper exactly how I want you to stay organized for the year. So um, I know this becomes kind of tricky sometimes and many people, um, many teachers have different ways of dealing with this. And so what I would like for you to do is this. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Because Mr. Ann isn't very tall and I have to get on my tippy toes to reach up here. Here's your basic piece of paper from your notebook. In your notebook, this is how I would like for you to stay organized. Um, what I would like for you to do is start by putting your first and last name at the top of your paper. So I will show you as an example, um, <clears throat> just use a name. We're gonna write nice and neat, Joe Smith. Okay, so we're gonna put our first and last name nice and neat. And the reason why I have you do this is in middle school, there are so many students and your teachers next year will have 150 students a day that they see. And so you may have a double of a name, especially your first name. So it's very important to put your last name. So we have Joe Smith. Then what you're going to do is whatever topic we're doing, I'd like for you to put that next. We're gonna be doing lots of different things, but we're gonna focus this lesson on math. So we have Joe Smith and we have math. And after the math, we're gonna put today's date. And we'll just use a random date because I'm not quite sure for sure when you'll see this video. But we'll go with uh, September, because that's at the beginning of the school year. And we're going to put September, we'll say 10th, 2012. So I know that it's your paper, it's a math lesson that we did, and on the date. So we can usually figure out exactly what lesson it might be. Now, if we're talking about addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, geometry, whatever we're doing, I always like to have that also at the top of our paper. So right over here, I'm going to have you write um, what we're doing right now, and that is reviewing multiplication. Okay, so we're gonna put multiplication at the top, then we're simply going to put underneath that, you can skip a line, is vocabulary. And we're gonna write down any of our vocabulary words that we might have and we might use um, in the lesson. So it's very important that you put whatever vocabulary words you have here. So, and leave some space. I would say leave five or six spaces. So maybe count down one, two, three, four, five, six, before we do our, um, next intro which is examples and I really like to model some examples of our math lesson so you get home or you get into class and you're trying to figure out your problems and you have something to look back at and something you have written down and done so under examples is where we're going to put that where we will model what we'll be doing that day then underneath that we'll skip five more lines one two three four five and we will put work and that area will be for all of the work that you are doing on this subject. And this will be our note taking that we will be doing in math. So we have our name, first and last, our subject and the date. We have the title of what we're doing, the lesson, which is multiplication. And we have vocabulary, our examples, and our work. So tomorrow, when you come to class, I expect you to have this all ready to go and know exactly how to start off our math day. Thanks, and I hope you have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.